Well, this is the first time I've ever actually been able to work on one of my dream cars. GT500. That is a lot of motor under the hood of that car. We are doing a full detail. I will be wet sanding and polishing this car. I will try to show some updates throughout the video. All right, well, masked up, ready for wet sanding and polishing. I will be met, uh, bagging off the entire car the interior once I get to the polishing point right now I'm gonna do my wet sanding and I'll keep you posted so I'll try and explain what I'm trying to fix here if you can see how it looks like it's textured that's the factory orange peel it's just it happens they don't wet sand and polish these vehicles when they're done at the factory Just the slightest little bit of texture. I will do my best to make this look like a piece of glass by the time I'm done. Alright, this might be hard to do with one hand, but I'm going to try and show you a little bit before I start polish or wet sanding it. You want to have your wet sand paper soak in a bucket for a while reason being is the type of grit they use can actually be too coarse if you do it dry so you want your soap and water as well just in a bottle soak it on there real good and keep your paper clean at all times and then just gentle you're not doing you're not pushing too heavily. You're not doing anything too crazy. This is factory paint, so I don't have a lot of time before I'm going to burn through and have to repaint this fender. You want to stay away from your edges, as the edges have a lot thinner paint on them. See what that looks like. Now it gives you a bit of a better idea of what the texture looks like. So I don't want any of this shiny left over and then it's going to look really smooth when I'm done. So this is the look we're trying to achieve. See how there's very little if not any at all little dent like little indents like this. Those are still the orange peel. If it's nice and smooth like this, now I go to 3000 grit then a 5,000 grit and I'll show you those steps as well and then you go to polishing this is what we look like after 3,000 grit and this is after 5,000 grit nice and smooth now I just gotta polish it up all right, we are all wet sanded, at least this side, all the way down to 5,000 grit. I'm not doing certain areas. They aren't that bad, and they're also around the emblem. I won't be doing the lower doors because they're covered in a 3M film, and then under the tape is the GT500 stripe. It looks a little blotchy, but it'll polish up really, really nice. As you notice, I didn't touch any of the edges for multiple reasons. One, they don't orange peel as bad because of the way the paint lays down. 
and two because they are way too risky to wet sand and try to polish. You do not want to burn through on a paint job like this or on a hundred thousand dollar car like this. So we will go after it and get it polished up and I'll show you the process. I might even do a time lapse. We'll see. Well, there it is. I didn't record the whole process, but I told you it would look like glass. That's the reflection in the door, not a mirror. Well, it's finally done. Probably about 12 hours worth of work. All shined up, smooth. This was a fun one. I love and hate black at the same time, but it looks so good when it's done. Well, that's it. Hopefully I helped out. Hopefully you learned something. If you got any questions, definitely toss me a comment. And if you're not already following the ATP Customs channel, you might as well have a follow on that too, because that's where most of our other videos will be. Thanks for watching.